everyone, welcome back. So this is my second video today. <laughs> so I have the same shirt on and my hair is the same as my last video. Cause it's my second video. I'm going out of town. When this video will go up, I'll be out of town all week. So I had to make it early. Today's the best day. So in today's video, I am gonna try this Juvia's Place shade stick. So I looked online and it can be either be used as, it can be used as a, a contour, a foundation, Mm, I can't remember what else it said. I can't remember the third thing. It says it's a three in one. So I got this at Ulta in North Carolina a couple weeks ago, and it was actually on sale for like 10 bucks. It's originally 16. So I didn't know if it was on sale because they don't carry it anymore, but I just looked and it's still on their website. So you can still get them. The shade I got is called Barcelona. And I think if it's not right, it's going to be pretty close. I mean, my foundation doesn't ever match anyway, so <laughs> it's going to be close. I've never used a, um, a stick foundation, so I'm kind of excited for that. So I wanted to try that, and I'm also going to use this Drop Dead Gorgeous Little Bit Psycho palette from BH Cosmetics. It's actually their um, Halloween palette, but look how pretty it is. I love this. It's so pretty. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to start out by priming my eyelids, and I'm using the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is really going to be a simple eye look today, I think. I'm gonna go into, cause I'm really excited for this red here. I'm gonna go, go into this red this red color here. It's called V Amped, Vamped. <laughs> it's like a V and then a dash. So I'm gonna go with that color and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. And so that it doesn't go too high, I'm gonna stop right below my crease and then wipe off my brush and then just kind of buff it up. Cause if you go into your crease with it, if you don't want it that high, it's gonna go really high. And I'm gonna put black up there. This is the first, this is the first thing I think I've ever tried from BH Cosmetics. And I, I really like it. I mean, you can tell I've used it before. I like it a lot. I really like the shimmers in it. Now this was their Halloween palette. So I don't know if this is something they're gonna carry regular or not. If they have it, of course I'll, I'll link it in the description box. I hope they still do because I really like this. They also had a bigger one that had more, had I think it had these same shades in it, but it also had a lot more, which I just got the smaller one. And I'm gonna go into the black here called Black Magic. That was, that's mainly why I bought this. I almost didn't buy it, but it's got a black in it. So, you know, that sucked me right in. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it back here. I can't decide which shimmer to go with. We have this one, this one, and this one. All right, I'm going with this one. This one's called Center. I'm gonna go with this one, and I'm gonna put it right in the middle here. Right up against that black. And then, I don't want it to cover up all the red because I really like the red. I'm just gonna buff it over a little bit. But I think I am going to put this color here, right in the corner. It's called Showy. Ooh, I love it. I love this little palette. And I'm definitely interested in getting more from BH Cosmetics because I think it works really, really good. So I'm going to go back into the black called Black Magic. And I'm going to just darken this up back here some because I put some of that glitter on top of it. I just want to darken it up a little bit. Okay, so recently in most of my videos I've been speeding through my foundation, but since I'm going to do that foundation stick, I want to show you guys. I'm using the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So I'm just going to do what I would normally do with like my foundation, with my primer and stuff. So what I normally do with my primer is I'll, I'll put it on, rub it in, and then I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes. So while this is on, I'm going to do my eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now since they've rebranded in their KVD Beauty, they do still have this. Mine's just a little sample size from Ipsy. I love using red eyeshadow. <laughs> and I'm using the e.l.f. Active Workout Liner for my waterline. I think there was still some on there for my previous video I just did. So this is the color Barcelona. They had, all they had were some that were marked down and they didn't really have very many shades. So. This is the one that I thought might be the closest to me. So if it doesn't match that well, that's okay. If I really like it, I can order another one because they're actually eight, I think it said $8 on their website. So maybe they're not gonna be carrying it anymore, but I still wanted to try it. So 
And I don't know if you use a brush or if you use a sponge, so I might try both here. We'll see. Might be a little white. I do see, though, how you could use this as, like, a contour. Like a contour stick. That'd be kind of nice. I just don't know how to contour at all. Doesn't smell like anything. I don't think it looks like it. Let me try a brush on this side. Maybe I have, maybe, also maybe I had too much on because I don't really know how much to put on. It's the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I think that looks way better. So let's just stick to that. I guess that's, that shade actually matches pretty good, doesn't it? I don't really feel like I have much of an opinion on it. It's okay, I guess, for now. I might have to just wear it for the day and see how it looks. Because I don't really know. Over on this side where I started with the sponge, I don't think you can really tell. The, sun, the light is off, but it looks a little cakey. I'm trying to decide if I need to put powder on. Actually, it doesn't feel that bad. I'm, I'm so surprised at how close that color matches. I don't think it covers very well. I still have this little mole here that you can kind of see. Let's try to cover it. Nah, see, I mean, you can still see it, which is not a big deal. So maybe it's just like a light coverage. I'm afraid to keep adding. I don't want it to be cakey. I don't really like the texture it leaves on my skin. Like, I feel like I can see, I can see my texture. So I don't like that that much. That's actually the first foundation I think I've, I've ever had that looks okay with a, a brush. I'm just going to dust some powder over. This is the Cody Airspun Powder. And I'll let you know in the description box how this wears today. So far, I don't I don't really like how you can see the texture of my skin. I'm definitely gonna wear it today and um, I'll let you know how it turns out later. If it like creases a lot or anything. My face is kinda my face kinda gets oily throughout the day. So I'll definitely see let you know how it reacts to that too. For blush, I'm using this e.l.f. Primer Infuse blush. Always rosy. This is my favorite blush. I think maybe next maybe for my next video I'll do uh, like a favorites video. Like all the stuff that I have, that's my favorite. And I guarantee you it's gonna be mostly e.l.f. stuff. <laughs> for, I'm excited for this, for my um, highlight. I'm using this Revolution Nightmare Before Christmas um, highlight. It's just so pretty. I think I showed this in a video already. They had a, a Halloween palette, which I have. And they had this highlight also. And it's so pretty. Isn't that cute? It's a really good highlight. For my mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is a really, really good mascara. I like it a lot. I know I talked about, I used this once in a video and I talked about like how I really like the mascara, but I hate this packaging. I don't like it at all. I see now that there's a shadow on my face. I guess it's probably been there this whole time. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Sorry. I just love that eyeshadow. So pretty. Since I forgot my eyebrows again, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Instant Lift Eyebrow Pencil. When I very first got this, I didn't like it. But the more I use it, the more I like it. Because it's just easy. I don't even remember what- Oh, I didn't like it because it was always messy and I was getting it everywhere. I think I was just trying to go too fast with it. But really, I just feel in the front. The rest of my eyebrows are fine. And for my lips, I'm using the Essence Hollow Wow. It's just, it's just like a shimmery lip gloss. I realized in my last video I didn't use a lip gloss at all. I didn't use anything on my lips, I forgot. And I think that's it for this look. I love this eyeshadow. I use it all the time. It really is like, it's a really nice traveling palette. I say that all the time. That's my excuse for getting palettes all the time is I'm trying to find a good travel palette. <laughs> but it's really, it's really a good one because, well, I want a black in every palette, but it has black in it and it has all these colors that I use a lot anyway. So, and it's small, I like that. I think it's really, really pretty. And they work so well, I've never used anything from them before. So I'm definitely interested in getting more from them. And I will let you know how this foundation wears. Once I put powder on it, it looks a lot better. It's really pretty now that I have powder on it and it's sat there for a minute. So I will for sure let you know in the description box how this turns out and how it wears for, for the day. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much for coming back. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.